there's a place on earth that's maybe one of the coolest places on earth, Colorado, where a bunch of seats, 9,000 of them, and a stage are carved into 80 million year old red rocks to make the most idyllic venue out of this pristine overlook perched on the front range just above Denver. But they don't come here just for the concerts. One. Every Sunday, a dedicated group of them One, turn this iconic venue into their own personal gym. It all started way back in 1906 when this publisher tycoon guy and his son installed some kind of picnic ground that they called Garden of the Titans up on Mount Morrison. In 1910, they built this funicular to get access to the top. A year later, some Scottish opera singer belted out the first concert, echoing between the massive outcroppings on each side of this natural amphitheater. Madame Mary Garden exclaimed, the acoustics were perfect. In 1927, Denver bought up the surrounding land for a mere $50,000. They put in a road, so a bunch of unemployed youth from ages 17 to 25 got up there to start morphing this ancient field of rocks and boulders into an amphitheater, replacing thousands of feet of crumbly debris with 90,000 square feet of sandstone, 800 tons of quarried stone, and 30,000 pounds of reinforced steel. Denver coughed up a half million dollars in 1930s dough to make what would become one of the most desired, beloved entertainment venues on earth. Six years later, in 1941, they dedicated this place with the Denver Chorus singing Over its many years as a premier world-class venue, Red Rocks has hosted comedies and plays Symphonies and Ballets, John Tesh, Jimmy, Bruce, Dylan, Stevie, The Dead, Tull, Takes more than a license for a good. The Kingston Trio, Graduations, Movies, Easter Sunrise Services, and of course, in 1964. Oh, you should be glad. Every Sunday morning, when the actual sun crests the horizon over Denver, there they are. There's this guy, Joe Hendricks. For two hours every Sunday, a legion of dedicated health nuts attack the 69 rows of Red Rocks. For more than a decade plus, Joe's been there in the snow, rain, and sun because, well, he likes to. Mm -hmm. He's uh, quite a guy, jumping Joe Hendricks, and our Jeff Thomas tracked him down this week. I would say we work three hours a day minimum, and then sometimes five hours a day, but practice is a lot of fun because we get out and we just start trick riding, and we have a real good time with it. One time, the tenacious Joe held these sessions three days a week, but so many showed up that the Red Rocks Chiefs put a kibosh on that. Back to just Sundays. Joe's never been in the armed forces, but he knows a good grilling with a grunt, huff, crawl, balance, run, contort, and they come back for it. For him, for them, they come back to be healthy and strong and breathless in the rarefied 6,500-foot mountain air, imbued with a sense of personal achievement to just try whatever their fitness allows. And Joe? Well, he takes nothing for it. Nothing, not a zilch. It's a beautiful day, Joe! The sun beats, the music beats under the beating sun, and the freshest air on earth at the finest gymnasium in the whole world. And the comforting directions from Commander Joe, leading them through their paces, have a soundtrack. If you listen carefully, you hear the vestiges of all the music of a century that reverberated around those red rocks, playing to a beat of their own heart. We're here every Sunday. Always a free ass-kicking workout, and we'd love to have you.